friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Ayush and today I'm gonna show you how to draw Gara from Naruto. So for drawing today's sketch, I'll be using 0.5 mechanical pencil to sketch and here is a stick for more accurate erasing. For inking, I'll be using two different markers. First is 0.5 Copigma Deliner for inking thin lines and 0.1 Pigma marker for inking thick lines. And obviously a white pen for showing highlights. A charcoal eraser for erasing pencil lines after inking. And finally, some touch of color markers for coloring our sketch. So these are the materials I'll be using for drawing today's sketch. This is my first ever tutorial with face cam. I'm really excited about it. So stick till the end of the video and enjoy the process. I'll start by drawing face line from left side. Draw chin at center bottom. And connect the face line to chin. Again draw the face line for right side and connect it to the chin. I'm drawing a rough semicircle. Then, according to it, I'll just start adding hair spikes. Our outer lines for face are ready. Now, we just have to add face features inside. I'm drawing a straight line just a little above the middle line of box to keep both the eyes at same level then draw the eyes on both the sides. Draw eyeball in the center by drawing a small circle. Add some wrinkles around the eyes. Repeat the same process to draw the left eye. Draw his nostrils a little towards the right side, not in the center. And exactly below his nose, draw his mouth by drawing a straight line and curving them from both the ends. Erase the rough line. If you want, you can also draw shadow lines. Draw his ears on both the sides outside the box. Draw his neckline on both the sides. Now to draw his remaining hair, I am again drawing a semicircle and with the help of it, I am gonna draw hair spikes one by one. Also draw the mark on his forehead on the right side. And don't forget to add hair spikes below the ears. Now for drawing lower body, it's always best to draw it roughly first with a very light hand. It gets easier to add details on it. Now we have a blueprint of our lower body. We just have to add more detailing to it. So I'll start by drawing shoulders and clothes on it. Draw the collarbones exactly below neck. Draw his clothes on both the sides and connect them below. You'll get a V shape at the end. Now start drawing his right hand touching the V.
Also draw his left hand according to the rough figure we have already drawn. Also for drawing his fingers, draw a rough shape of his hand first and then just add fingers one by one. Then draw elbows for both the hands and our hands will be ready. Erase all the lines and then give more detailing to his hands and clothes. And now we are ready to draw his lower body. Draw his belly first, then just extend the cloth and belt that he's wearing. And our body is ready, now we just have to draw the bottle of sand behind him. I'll draw a curved line from his lower hair till his elbow. And again draw a curved line from this point. Our basic structure of sand bottle is ready. Draw the markings which are above his sand bottle. Draw the top part and cap of sand bottle. Again draw the markings and some random lines. And our sketch is ready, let's start inking it. For inking our character, I am using 0.5 Copic Multiliner. And for inking the sand bottle, I will be using 01 Sakura Pigma Marker. Try to keep a paper below your palm so that you don't smudge pencil lines while inking. And try to do it in one go, do not over ink so that your sketch is neat and tidy. And most importantly, do not get nervous or afraid of ruining your sketch, otherwise you will never improve and grow.
And our drawing is ready. I'm so happy with this drawing. I'm drawing Kara for the first time on my channel. The sketching was really easy, but the coloring was really challenging because there were so many colors I used. There were approx three shades in every color. I blended them with the lightest color, and it turned out really nice. As we all know, Kara was a bad guy earlier. That's why he has that creepy look. Also, sand bottle turned out really nice. Luckily, I had the perfect colors for it. This was not a complicated drawing, but still, this is one of my favorites and also one of my best tutorials, I would say, because I tried to make it as easy as possible to understand for you all and draw it easily. So many of you had requested for this tutorial, and finally here it is with the face cam. So do share your opinions down below about my first face cam tutorial ever. I would really appreciate it if you share this video with your friends. If you like this video then give a thumbs up and ring the bell to get notified whenever I'm on YouTube more awesome videos are going to come up like speed drawings art challenges tutorials every week and more so if you're not subscribed yet then hit that subscribe button and yes guys follow me on Twitter Instagram and Facebook to get daily updates on my drawings i will be sharing their links down below that's all for today thanks for watching guys i'll see you all in my next video bye bye